Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. President Trump has brought a lot of needed change to America in just the first year in office. However, nothing has caused as much outrage as his most recent surprise that Barack Obama's welfare gluttons didn't see coming. The grossly abused system is finally getting an unprecedented change that never been done before. The entitlement era is over with the swipe of a pen that makes a huge new rule official and will kick one big group out of the system for good. It's the end of the road for freeloaders in America who have enjoyed the ride for eight years and are now being abruptly kicked off the benefits bus. The days of taking advantage of the taxpayers are over and these abusers have nobody to blame but themselves. Since Trump isn't just giving their Obama gift the boot, he's also created of jobs in this country so if they want it back, they can work for it and buy it themselves. The original purpose of the welfare program was to give struggling Americans a temporary leg up out of hardship. The help metastasized into a lifestyle of greedy people living off the system with no end in sight. This was their career choice and an easy way out of responsibility providing them ample time to do other things that wreak havoc on society. Trump set the precedence at the start of his presidency, that this wasn't going to be possible any longer and now states are following in his lead by initiating sweeping changes to the system that aren't sitting well with users. Briet Bart reports. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker forged ahead with his plan to drug test food stamp recipients Monday after his plan stalled for more than two years. The plan passed the Republican-controlled state legislature more than two years ago, but it stalled due to conflicts with federal laws banning states from imposing additional requirements for people who wish to receive food stamps. Florida used to require food stamp recipients to undergo drug testing, but a federal appeals court found the state's practice to be unconstitutional in 2014 because it violated the Fourth Amendment, which protects citizens against unreasonable searches and seizures. Walker filed a lawsuit against the federal government in 2015 seeking federal government approval to drug test food stamp users. The lawsuit was thrown out because the Obama administration never formally rejected Wisconsin's request to allow the testing. Under the plan, if food stamp recipients test positive for drugs, they are eligible for state-funded rehabilitation treatment if they cannot afford treatment for drug abuse. Walker has said the program would get people off drugs and back into the workforce drug-free. It's asinine that this common-sense idea wasn't a requirement from the beginning. If people have money for drugs they shouldn't make everyone pay for their basic necessities. Narcotics are not a necessity. It's about time that action like this is taken, which is actually a win, win situation. Addicts are forced into making necessary changes in their lives to get clean if they choose to, but Americans don't have to enable their addiction by being forced to cover their necessities. Although the specific savings to come from this plan is hard to determine, you can bet that the number of applicants being denied will be far more than a small few that liberals claim it will be. Considering how massive the opiate crisis is here in America and the financial devastation that causes a person, there are likely to be thousands refused welfare who can't test clean. The big problem with the welfare system is that it becomes a way of life for too many people, many of whom aren't even citizens and will never pay back into the program. It wasn't intended to be a lifestyle, it was only ever supposed to be a leg up through a hard time. Trump is cutting out the abuse and keeping it for those who need it and don't take advantage of it. Instead of handing out assistance to immigrants who cross our borders, they should be provided job opportunities as a means to enter. This alone could deter a lot of immigrants from coming into the country. Wanting and needing something is the best motivation for getting to work and earning it, as well as getting clean from drugs. When necessary things are just given to people who already lack drive, the desire to get it on your own is gone. Eventually, the funds will run out as long as there are freeloaders living off the system and taking advantage of it. This is basic economics that somehow our former president who came to the White House from a community organizer job didn't seem to grasp and hard-working Americans paid for it, paid for it.